Hi guys, Kirsty here. So today is part two of our Who Are You series. If you haven't checked out part one, go find it. It's called Find It. It's all about finding out who you are. Um, and it puts in some groundwork for today, so go check it out. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Feel It. We're gonna be exploring our emotions and starting to understand the energetic feedback that we're constantly getting through our thoughts and our emotions. So in this video, I really want to teach you about understanding the energetic feedback that your body is constantly giving you. We're gonna go through a series of um, exercises, starting off with a meditation. So if you're ready, let's get comfy and we'll begin. So when you feel ready, taking yourself into a comfortable position making sure that your spine is straight and that your central channel of energy, the Shishimna, is aligned. Lie down if you need to, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure you're comfortable. So this meditation, I want you to connect back to a place and a time when you felt good. This feeling tells us that we're on track. And this feeling should be a daily experience. With your eyes closed, begin to connect back to the breath. Become aware of the rhythm and flow of your breath. Try to resist changing it. Notice the energetic feedback you get from your body. Observing the thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations that come forward. and simply allow them to be exactly as they are right now. Think of a time when you felt good. Think of a time when you felt your heart sing, your body relax, and your mind open. Begin to connect to that feeling now and breathe into it. Allow yourself as much time as you need to connect back to that place and encourage the feelings and emotions to build. Now begin to connect to a physical place in your body where you feel this joyful sensation and send your breath there. Breathe into it. Encourage these feelings and emotions to build. Allow a smile to play on your lips as you bathe in this beautiful place of fulfillment and joy. 
immerse yourself in this sensation of bliss. Allow yourself to stay here for a while as you fall deeper and deeper into a state of peaceful relaxation. When you feel ready to come out of this meditation, just slowly begin to deepen your breaths, becoming aware of the external world around you, the sounds and smells, and only when you feel totally awake, slowly begin to open your eyes. So take your time here as long as you need to bring yourself back and connect to how you just felt. I hope you were able to find something that really resonated strongly with your heart and ultimately made you feel good. So we're now going to pull on this emotion. I wanted to get you to find a space which you could refer to where you know you felt good. As I said earlier, this should be a daily experience, not something that happens once in a while. So now we're going to explore another exercise to again hope to channel that happiness and joyful feeling into our daily lives. Okay, so we're going to move on to the exercise now. You'll need your pen and paper or your journals, just like the last video. If you haven't got them with you now, then pause the video and go grab them. So I'd like you to write five things that you would like to bring into your life that you feel will make you more joyful. I want you to think outside of the box here a little bit, take away any limits, so even if it feels really, really far-fetched at the moment or way out of your reach, write it down. Five things that you believe will make you more joyful. Now out of those five things, I'd like you to circle one of them. The one that jumps out at you the most, the one that gives you that good feeling, and the one that you just feel is right at the moment. You can't do it wrong, so just circle the one that jumps out at you. So I'm now gonna take you on a visualization of the particular thing you have circled. So close your eyes, get yourself comfy, and I'd like you to think about the thing you've circled. So whatever it was, pop it into your mind. Now I'd just like you to connect back with your breath, just briefly, just observing its flow and resisting the need to change it. So I'd now like you to visualize yourself doing whatever it is that you want to bring into your life. Become aware of the surroundings around you. Notice all the colours. Notice how bright the colours are. What colours are dominating. Now become aware of the sounds all around you. We want to get as detailed as possible. So become aware of all of the sounds around you. Now begin to connect to the smells, the smells that surround you, whether you're outside 
or inside. Perhaps visualize yourself taking a deep inhale, breathing in all that's around you. Now become aware of yourself. Notice how you feel in this situation or place. Connect back again to that joyful feeling and breathe into it. Allow it to increase. See yourself succeeding in this place right now. Observe how happy you look and how peaceful you seem and how content in this moment right now. Begin to connect to yourself, how you look visually what you're wearing. Are you hot, cold, or just right? Perhaps also noticing who you are with or who surrounds you in this place. Or perhaps you are alone, still very happy. Taking a few more moments here in this place, absorbing everything that is around you and all the feelings that are coming forward. Breathe into those feelings and allow them to lift your heart, opening up your heart space. Your heart feels full of joy, compassion, and total freedom in this place. Take as long as you need here. And when you feel ready to come back, Slowly begin to deepen your breaths. And open your eyes when you're ready. I hope you feel good after that meditation and we're really able to connect to that sense of being in the visualization. So during this video, we've connected to past experiences of when we felt joyful. We've also connected to future projections of how we want to feel and things we want to bring into our lives. So this week, what I'd really like you to do is become aware of your energetic feedback. Notice when things feel good. Notice who you're with, where you are and what you're doing. This is a really big insight into your path and getting to know the real you. If you find you've got any quiet time just for yourself, perhaps first thing in the morning before anyone knows you're awake, then why not just take yourself into a visualization just like we did, perhaps using the same imagery or choosing something else from your list. It really helps to increase that feeling so you get even more familiar with it and therefore bring it into your, your daily experience. For me, this practice is a huge indicator as to whether I'm on path or off path. Sometimes I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling joyful, it's okay, but it's a big reminder that whatever I'm doing in that time, or whoever I'm with, is perhaps not the best thing for me. And then when I am in a good space, I often close my eyes, breathe into it, and really take everything in that I'm doing in order to push myself into making that more of what I experience in my life.
Thank you for watching. I hope you continue to feel good and I will see you in my next video all about being it and living it on a daily basis. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe, like and leave any questions in the comments. Wishing you health and happiness. Have a beautiful day. Bye.